Warning, this content may be upsetting or disturbing to some audiences. Sailors and boaters of Reddit, what's the most amazing or unexplainable thing you've seen at sea? I liked this comment from a previous thread like this, I have family who sailed around the world. One day in the North Atlantic, their sailboat was going over some gigantic swells. When I was younger and on a family holiday in Grand Canaria, we went on a boat trip around the island. Seemed like a good way to waste the day in the sun. We were on a medium-sized catamaran, and between the two hulls there was a kind of netting that people were sitting on. It was a pretty chill time and 12-year-old me loved sitting on it and looking out at the sea. Then we hear the crew yell something, they'd spotted dolphins. Cool. So we get up, can see them jumping a bit off the distance in parallel to how we're traveling. Then we notice they're getting closer. And closer, I go back to the netting, thinking I'll be able to see one as it passes beneath the boat. I look down at just the wrong moment as this complete derp of a dolphin decide that was the perfect time to jump, when he was underneath the boat, and headbutts me, he lands back in the water and the school moves on, but my day is ruined by a bloody nose and black eye from getting a Glasgow kiss by F King Flipper. We were boating past a beach when we saw this whale breach in incredibly shallow water and I swear to god I heard it call out to her family it was a thunderous sound I was quite shocked to discover that it was in fact just a fat tourist calling to her son. I was en route to northern Japan after the terrible tsunami happened for disaster relief, marines. Anyway, I had stepped outside to a catwalk for a smoke after not seeing the sun for a few days. Turns out that it was extremely foggy and snowing, which I had never thought about. After chain smoking for 10 to 15 minutes I started to hear things hitting the ship. Had trouble seeing at first but once I saw the roof of a house and a crib float by I realized where we were. Ran back to my living area to grab some friends, not super crazy or bizarre, but it's something I'll never forget. Spent the next week and a half dealing with crazy weather shifts doing my part in the cleanup effort. For those who want to read about it, here. Operation Tomodachi. When I was 11. I went on a night fishing trip with my friend's parents. As we got about a half mile past the Skyway Bridge out of St. Pete, they noticed one of those big blue plastic 55 gallon barrels bobbing in the water by a channel marker. I remember all of the adults gasping and giggling when they opened it, immediately followed by my friend's mom ushering us to the bow of the boat to sit down and only face forward no matter what. Well, I turned around to see what looked like a bunch of plastic vacuum sealed bags of some sort of green herb. It wasn't until years later that I realized what I had witnessed. Most amazing is the non-sound of wind, when you're onshore wind rustles through the trees, moves wind chimes, makes birds chirp, etc. Way offshore none of those sounds exist. It's very eerie to feel the wind but have it make no noise. Just a force that moves across your skin and then gently leaves without a sound. I've done some sailing on a 134 double-masted steel brigantine, finally a question I can answer. We were sailing through an area of high biological productivity in the North Atlantic one night. My shipmate was on bow watch, I was on the quarter deck assisting the mate with whatever needed to be done. When I got up there, I saw seven or eight bottlenose dolphins swimming through bioluminescent water right under the bow of our boat. Every inch of them glowed green. It was like something out of a dream. They looked like glow-in-the-dark torpedoes, there must have been close to 30 dolphins swimming around. We got almost the entire crew out of bed to come watch, that's definitely something I'll remember for the rest of my life. Mom's partner is fisherman, a couple of things that came to mind. The incredible amount of great white shark encounters they have out at sea, obviously attracted by the bait or something. Stories of being circled and harassed by sharks for sometimes up to days, in at least one or two occasions resulting in them having to go back in. Freak waves. Sadly. The amounts of fishermen killed by freak waves is too high. Imagine mother nature just unleashing a huge wave out of nowhere that obliterates a fishing boat, killing those on board. My favorite though, was something he actually saw on land while out at sea. On an incredibly remote and rugged part of Tasmania's west coast the crew noticed what appeared to be a dog on the beach. As they continued to get closer they also noticed something else, it had what appeared to be the outline of stripes along its back half. Yes. Still to this day they believe they saw an extinct Tasmanian tiger, or thylacine. I was a beautiful day off the coast of Juneau, Alaska and we were hobby fishing for salmon when we caught a small fish. 
we noticed a large bald eagle soaring overhead and decided to try and throw the fish to the eagle to give him an easy lunch. I was pretty stunned the eagle was so ready to catch a fish flying through the air but it seems his reflexes were pretty eagle-like. After spending a few months at sea on deployment the most incredible thing I saw was fours turning into solid nines. I was canoeing on the coast of Florida and my wife said let's paddle up to that log. We did. Right before we reached it the log snorted heavily and swam away. Scared the SHD out of me. My wife laughed because she knew it was a manatee and knew what would happen. She grew up in Florida. I do a lot of offshore fishing in the South Atlantic. Some cool and crazy things I've seen while boating. I got caught once in the annual migration of spinner sharks. Went right through a school that I would guess would be at least 10,000 or more sharks that just happened to be working on a very large bait school. You could count no less than 10 sharks breaching the surface about every second. I literally had one shark land in the bow of the boat and another break the cowling on the outboard while several others bounced off the sides. Here's a video of what a single spinner looks like when breaching. Once I almost hit a dead body when returning from a trip at the end of the day. It was just turning dusk and I was coming in from about 15 miles offshore after a day of fishing. I slowed down and turned the boat around in an attempt to find whatever it was I almost hit but was unsuccessful and it was getting late and the sun was almost down so I decided it would be best to just head back in. The next day a body in yellow waders washed up on shore about 25 miles to the north, encountered a great white while surfacing from a dive in about 75 of water which was extremely unusual because great whites shouldn't be anywhere around the area of the Atlantic where I fish. One time I saw an otter dragging a leather back sea turtle to shore that it somehow managed to kill. I was walking along the beach with my girlfriend, when all of a sudden I hear someone scream is anyone here a marine biologist? Being a marine biologist myself, I ran over to the commotion. What I saw was a beached whale, with a golf ball stuck in its blowhole, the sea was angry that day my friends. While on a crossing from the Bahamas to Charleston, South Carolina I was on watch in the middle of the night and saw a strange bright orange light rising up from the horizon until it flickered out. Ran 2000-ish, Indian Ocean on watch maybe 0200. Pitch black except for stars and quiet apart from the diesels. I notice a humming sound, sorta of halfway between hearing it and feeling it. This goes on for a while, but all of a sudden it got a lot more intense and suddenly I notice a glow way under the water. Nothing can move that quick underwater. I reported it and it was logged but nothing came off it. Heard stories from shipmates about the same thing happening but the glow goes into the air. Didn't know about that but what I saw I have no explanation for. Also, equator crossings. Shit gets weird. 2. A guy in Florida gave the boat I was on coordinates for somewhere between the Turks and Caicos banks and Hispaniola, saying there was something mind blowing out there and we had to check it. I guess he told the captain what it was, but he wanted to keep it a surprise. We didn't really understand what it was until the captain threw a bucket over the side and filled it up from the bubbling water. And drank out of it. It was a pillar of fresh water coming from some vent in the ocean floor. Bizarre. Comment in a similar thread a while back from slash u slash madtraff. Saw a group of spotted eagle rays jumping out of the water. About six of them all getting a good three feet of air time. Surprising to see a majestic sea flip-flap generating enough power to do that. Me and my good friend, Jay Foster, experienced a sunfish for the first time while enjoying a nice day on Boston Harbor a few weeks ago. I was quite perplexed by it. Not amazing in a good way, but on the flight deck during flight ops, business as usual, launching planes and dodging jet blast. All of a sudden the air boss calls out to get ready for emergency landing. In like 3.5 seconds the landing area was completely clear, before I could even realize what was said, I watched a 60 million dollar F-18 just go into the ocean. The pilots ejected, and needed to get pulled out of the water of course, this all happened in what seemed like less than 5 minutes. I was in total shock and sick to my stomach because nobody immediately knew whether or not the pilots were okay. They were. Both had quite a few broken bones. The same jet I watched take off minutes before was deep sixed. For me the memory that sticks with me was when I first realized just how powerful the sea is. I was working on a boat in Japan, on my way back into port after a four week swing just sat in my cabin one evening watching a film on my laptop when every now and again I noticed a bright flash from behind me, certainly gave me the shivers anyway. I was fishing in 17 foot mohawk canoe off the main bridge in Titusville Florida. About 2000. 
My kids were small. It's teeming with fish in that area and I headed for a trough that NASA cut out to build the fuel railroad system out to the launch area. It holds black drum as well as other tasties. I have a trolling motor on the side of the canoe and I head for my spot down the south shore. Over to my left, just as I arrive at the south end of the trough, I see a pot of manatee in the water about 75 yards away. I have a little camera stowed away and I decide to get some up close pics for the kids. I turn west into the middle of the lagoon area and head over shallow water and grass beds with my trolling motor turned to 5, top speed. I notice it appears very shallow immediately ahead of me and I cut the motor quickly to zero. That's the last thing I remember before the loudest noise, that came from all around me. Water exploded. Around and under my 75 pounds canoe with 150 pounds me in the back, the front of my canoe went up at over a 45% angle and the rear of my canoe, with me in it, came off the surface of the water some amount such that my battery came off the floor. In the front of my canoe, all my tackle and such was launched into the air, it's not obvious what happened to me for a minute. I was so afraid and so vulnerable and unsure if it would happen again, I reattached things back at my trolling motor, wires had come loose, I think, and went to the shoreline, where the railroad passed, and got out and tried to piece my equipment back together and my experience, the pot of roughly 21 manatees, number from ranger, had come into the lagoon area recently and as it turns out, they have a similar danger signal to beavers they slap the surface of the water, trust me I know. There was another post about weird SHD people experience when out in the wilderness, he didn't say anything to the other crew on the boat. Then a little while later one of the other crew said something to the effect of did anyone else see that weird creature that popped up out of the water, I'd try to search and link it for you, but you have a better chance of seeing a mermaid than getting reddit search to work. I almost hit a sea turtle the size of a mattress off the coast of Washington. It suddenly appeared and I threw the engine in reverse and swerved hard to port throwing passengers off their seats. Freshwater boater here, I typically hunt and fish the Arkansas River, where I'm at it's a huge body of water. One day while fishing in some lazy backwater off the Arkansas we, my GF and I, heard a faint, very faint raised voice. We stopped and listened intently, so we stowed the fishing gear and made towards the sound. When we came out of the backwater area towards the main channel we could see a capsized boat with two people clinging to it desperately screaming for help. We made our way over and helped the couple into our boat and made for sure so I could go back and retrieve the boat. Another boater saw what was happening and made his way to the capsized boat. The couple were older and clearly exhausted from their ordeal. After dropping the couple off on the bank with my GF to rest I helped the other boat tow the boat to the bank. When we got it there we managed to get enough of the boat on the bank so we could turn it over and begin dewatering it. Amazing, dropping sails and sliding into a mass of dolphins, about 20 to 30 of them. Jumping out all around us, swimming all around, if it wasn't for the concentration of jellyfish, Chesapeake Bay, I'd consider jumping in with them. They'd break off into subgroups 3 to 5 and they were simply, everywhere. Yacht delivery leg across the Gulf of Mexico heading from the dry Tortugas to Key West when there was a series of wop, wop, wop hop a wop noises above us. Looked up in time to see a bunch of flying fish hitting the sail, just as the first of them started falling to and flopping all over the deck. Long, long ago, was in the US Coast Guard, stationed at an unnamed air station. It was a weekend and I had operations duty. I did the normal thing which was to press the OAG alert and loudspeak boat crew to operations. Waited and no one came in. I stood up and looked out at our pier and the 30 footer was missing. I sent someone running to the north side and yes, it was our boat crew poaching the lobsters. A lot of things. I've seen a dolphin do the most elegant backflip you've ever seen. We caught a blue albatross as it went to dive for our gear. When we pulled the bird in to release it, it was so unbelievably calm. We held its wings open to take a picture. Massive birds those ones. If you made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we will see you in the next video.